The 38 Letters from Rockefeller to His Son, Business Enlightenment, and Life Advice. Since your last visit home, when we attended the 100th anniversary dinner of the Business Gentlemen's Club together, I've gained a deeper understanding of you. Professor Suster wrote me a letter praising your business acumen, which pleased me greatly. Your desire to enter the business world is understandable, but in this letter, I want to share with you some qualities and life advice necessary for business. In the process of choosing to enter the business world, remember its vast and colorful nature. It's not just about riding in luxury cars and dining in fancy restaurants around the world. These may reflect your passion for money and your emerging business consciousness, much like myself in the past. However, unlike me, I mostly entered business out of necessity rather than a great interest in commerce. I was fortunate to find that business management suited me well and achieved some modest successes. However, the business world is not a place everyone can navigate. Many fail because they cannot grasp the rules of the game. Therefore, when choosing an industry, you must choose carefully, finding a field that matches your interests and abilities. Do not be deceived by the surface glamour of certain industries because only by finding the right field for yourself can you truly achieve happiness and success. The marketplace is like a battlefield, full of competition and risks. Be prepared and avoid pitfalls. As Sam Badra once said, before taking off, see if the seeds you've planted ahead are ready for harvest. So, I suggest you devise a meticulous five-year training plan to carefully avoid the many traps that await you day after day. But I must remind you that it will take at least three to five years of learning to become a skilled manager. I don't want you to blindly bury yourself and study just to meet assessments. It's unwise and not commendable. Monthly profit and loss statements cannot truly reflect your level in real life. If you want to master the company's management methods, it will take at least five years. During this time, you need to familiarize yourself with customers, workplaces, employees, adjustments to external forces, and the integration of internal forces. Only after you have achieved these can you enjoy luxury cars, easy travel, and luxurious restaurants. On the business road, John. Once you have established your goals, go all out and cultivate unwavering confidence in them. The size of your world depends on your determination because great achievements stem from lofty ideals. As long as your determination is firm, everything in the universe will assist you in achieving your career. However, most people do not understand the daily life of businessmen they do not consider the multiple aspects that need to be considered in business, yet they rashly say they want to start a business. From the bottom of my heart, I hope your desire to do business comes from within and not because of family reasons against your will. To be proficient in the marketplace, you must first communicate with relevant professionals. However, it is important to note that choosing the right people to associate with is crucial. On one hand, associating with those who are obsessed with their own careers is not beneficial for you, as they may only discuss business matters. On the other hand, conversing with those who dislike their own professions is also unproductive. Only excellent advisors can offer valuable advice and guide you on important matters to consider when starting a company after achieving your goals. When entering the business world, neglecting these preparations not only wastes time but also squanders the precious time and effort you initially possess. If chosen carelessly, you may end up in a boring and mundane profession, leaving an indelible shadow on your life. This is very important to me. During my student days, I placed great emphasis on social practice. Every summer vacation, I would intern at the Cleveland Waterfront Shipping Company, 
which gave me many insights. One summer, I engaged in very hard and dirty work at the factory, with extremely harsh working conditions and a rotating shift schedule, working eight hours a day, six days a week. Despite the tough working conditions, most people endured silently without complaint. This experience made me deeply understand two things. Firstly, some people have to do this kind of work all their lives. Secondly, these people spend the most precious time of their lives in harsh working environments. In my opinion, they are pitiful, so I resolved not to associate with such people. In conclusion, Cherish the time away from books and plan ahead for everything you do. Try to gain some practical work experience within the scope of your chosen profession. At your age, almost all experiences are new experiences, so it's never too late to learn. Although you are already studying hard, maintaining a curious attitude towards your studies within the formal education system is important. However, it is important to note that choosing the right people to associate with is crucial. On one hand, associating with those who are obsessed with their careers is not beneficial for you, as they may only talk about business matters. On the other hand, engaging with those who dislike their careers is also unproductive. Only excellent advisors can offer valuable advice and guide you on important matters to consider when starting a company after achieving your goals. When entering the business world, if these preparations are neglected, it is not only a waste of time but also a waste of the precious time and effort you initially possessed. If chosen carelessly, you may end up in a boring profession, leaving an indelible shadow on your life. This is very important to me. During my student days, I placed great emphasis on social practice. Every summer vacation, I would intern at the Cleveland Waterfront Shipping Company, and this experience provided me with many insights. One summer, I engaged in a very difficult and dirty job in the factory. The working environment was extremely harsh and we operated on a shift schedule, working eight hours a day, six days a week. Despite the harsh working conditions, most people endured silently without complaint. This experience made me deeply understand two things. First, some people have to do this kind of work all their lives. Second, these people spend the most precious time of their lives in harsh working environments. In my opinion, they are pitiful, and therefore, I am determined not to associate with such people. In conclusion, it is important to cherish the time away from books and to plan ahead for everything. Within the chosen career scope, try to gain as much practical work experience as possible. At your age, almost all experiences are new experiences, so it's never too late to learn. Although you are already studying hard, maintaining a curious attitude towards your studies within the formal school education framework is important.